So what seems just step two, making a t-shirt smaller. So what I've done, I've pinned the new seams from the inside and I've done a long running stay stitch. So I'm going to stitch along there on a loose stitch just to make sure. And then if it all works out, then I can trim the excess away and finish it up. I'm actually going to start with the underarm seam. Where I've got it pinned. There we go. I just remembered something. I have to take my free arm off. <laughs> okay. This is a new method I'm trying, so it's kind of an experiment. And if it works out, that'd be cool. And if it goes this way. I hit it with the first time. Okay, where's my armpit? <laughs> Get in there. There you are. Up right there where the armpit meets the sleeve coming in. Make sure I've got my stitch as a start stitch. Biggest one I got. And turn it to the straight stitch. The stitch in on the left center right and left. Let's see how this will work out. I'm just going to stitch right along the hand stitching, stay stitch line. And this also will allow me to see that my placement is correct. That pin is snagging up my seam. There's one little pin that's like being a bad boy. Pull them out of there. Because it's holding one to a piece that it doesn't need to. And it's rolling over. Here we go. Now I am going around the top of the shoulder. never done it this way before, but I thought I'd try out a new theory. So far, so good. So if this shoulder one pans out, then I know the rest of it's going to be fine, because all I'm going to do is go right down the underarm. So let's see what I ended up with. Let's see if this is a winner. Nobody likes to take something completely apart, and that includes me. <laughs> so let's see what I got on the other side. Before I take any pins out, I just want to see what I ended up with. Well, almost. I 
do see in the beginning of it, it can't. It was doing exactly what it's supposed to. Then I have a mishap, which means I didn't tuck this in to where it needed to be. And that's why I did a basting stitch to make sure that it was going to come out. There's that silly pin right there. It was in the way. I figured it's really good to try out an idea. And then if it works out, then you can say, hey, my idea works. And this one is almost there. It actually really is. It's just about there. Okay. Now we'll go to the other side. Let's see if I can fix the problem that I just did, that I just encountered. So what I need to do, this is a little different. So now I see how pulling the seam in on the inside, you have to stitch it that way. I wasn't stitching it that way. I put the arm over the free arm, didn't I? Uh-huh. I think that was my mistake. I'm going to see if that's the case by doing the other sleeve. I can pull the other stitching out and just fix it. So we're going to go like that on this side. <laughs> I like experimenting. And I don't cut anything <laughs> until I know it's going to be right on. I'm going to put that over there. Start at that bottom part. And come up through here. Let's see what goes. Pins in the way. <laughs> yeah, we hold on to it. <laughs> okay, since that's a, that's a loose stitch, anyways, I like this. All right. Let's see how this looks on the outside and get this way. Turn it right side out. Okay, I lost my neckline. <laughs> oh, there it is. Ooh, I like the way this looks. Yeah. I really like the way that looks. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, that, that is bad, that is awesome. I love it when an idea works out after all. Now, I'm not going to cut anything away until after I've done both sides. <laughs> because uh, even though this looks awesome right now, I don't know if you, let me see. There's no puckers or anything. It's, that's because there's some pins still in there, but that's the new seam. And that makes this sleeve that much smaller. Through a good three inches. And that's what I was looking for. So I'm going to go down the side seam of this one. And if it looks perfect, then I'm going to redo the other side. <laughs> I'm excited. This is You know, I have this idea in my head. I was like, well, let me try that. And it's like, eh, worst case scenario is you have to take the whole thing apart. I don't want to take the whole thing apart. So now I'm going to start on the line that's the underarm. I'm going to baste that. Well, it's a stay stitch stitch. It's the biggest stitch I've got on here. He is a very down-to-earth person. Just starting there. Oh, I'm going to lose my thread. I knew it. <laughs> I didn't do my tail in. <laughs> what else? Okay. 
Okay. I love it when my when the Lord gives my brain an idea and it's actually the right idea. And I love it when he teaches me that, no, honey, that's wrong. <laughs> Do it this way. Follow the line. Into the good old armhole. pedal and go right down the side keep all these I could put more pins in here I keep it so I know it's not going to stretch and uh, be uh, getting a wild hair moment and do its own thing so Then I'm going to take it slow. I'm just going to let it guide it through. I think we might just have the problem solved it. Is. This is so cool. things a little bit unorthodox at times but sometimes unorthodox is what you need <laughs> besides when I overcast it's the same that's gonna you know lock it in but I'm not cutting it yet <laughs> I may have been doing this for over 40 years but uh, there's a certain uh, comfort level that I guess I've just never thought about that I was, wasn't quite there yet but uh, I like how the result is coming on this so I'm going to take all these pins out turn the right side out and then see what the finished product will look like basically always a hidden pin somewhere for some reason. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, that looks good. Okay, here's the test. Turn it right side out all the way down. Okay, there's that. There's my side seam. There it is. There's my underarm. Hello, where are you? Okay, there's the underarm here. And where'd it go? I know it's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> spot where I'm going to have to like curve it but this I'm going to lay it out let's see that's the shoulder there's that this will have to get pressed out obviously Cause there's all that bulky material under there and it's got it kind of hanging kind of funny but the same looks good 
looks real good. It's smooth. Let's see if I'm just lay here. Actually, let me see if I can get this better light. So I can actually see it. Oh, come on, light. Oh, it's not that way. There we go. Now you can see the scene. That's the new scene. Look at that. And the new side scene. It didn't take anything away from it. This is awesome. Now to finish it.